What's going on creative people? Jimbo here from Shalbam, back at teaching you some cool letter techniques in Procreate. In today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create 3D letters using one point perspective. I'm gonna show you my process step by step and how to warp some awesome patterns around the letters to give better dimension to the whole piece. You know we love giving you free stuff, right? Well, today's freebie contains three patterns from our latest set, the Essential Pattern Brush Toolkit. A super special set that we've created together with the talented designer Candice Baldwin. For this tutorial, you will need any iPad that supports Procreate, an Apple Pencil or compatible stylus and obviously the Procreate app. Remember that you will find both links to the freebie and the product in the description. Anyways, that's all I have to say, so let's get to it. Let's create a canvas then. Here, I'm creating a 30 times 22 centimeter canvas at a 350 dpi. First of all, we should create some guidelines. In the beginning, we will create a horizon line. I'm using a composition line from this layout masterclass, one of our previous sets, which you can also find a freebie of on our site. Now, center it using the transform tool. Well, this line comes in handy because it has its own center and we will need that for our piece. But you can instead draw a line and find its center manually. Now create a new layer and select the vertical line. Now stamp a vertical line on the center. This will give us a better understanding of where the center is while we draw our letter. I'm now pinching these two layers and bringing their opacity down so we can focus soon on the next step. On a new layer, select a new color and any pencil you want. We'll now draw rough circles that will indicate where our letters will be positioned. This is just in order to understand how much space we're gonna need. Now sketch your letters. If you don't want to overwhelm yourself, find a three letter word to follow along the tutorial and once you've learned it all, then it will be time to complicate things a little. To make the exercise easier, we'll be drawing monoline letters using a monoline brush that we also included in the freebie we have prepared for you. Remember that you can find the link in the description below. So once your pencil sketch is done, select the monoline brush and create single strokes on a new layer. You will see how your letters come to life easily and you won't have to worry much about certain rules. Remember that this is just an exercise and we don't want to get too picky at this point. Now bring this layer's opacity down and select a liner. We are using a custom brush here, but you can use, for example, the native calligraphy brush in Procreate. Create a new layer and construct the letters again. If you want to take care of small details, now is the time. All right, well, now the main letters are done and I'm repositioning them a little bit by bringing them to the bottom. Let's go to the fourth step. It's time to do some 3D guides to know exactly how the projected letters will look like. We'll use the same liner from before, a new color, and we will create a new layer. Okay, so this is quite simple now. You remember the center we drew in the beginning? Well, we are going to draw lines that go from it to each corner of each letter. This will show the direction of our 3D and things will start looking easier after we've done that. You will see. From now on, you'll notice that my tone will change. I have people working around me and I decided to use a calmer voice. Hope you don't fall asleep. Now that the lines are done, we'll start making the 3D walls of our letters. 
Duplicate your letters and make the ones at the bottom smaller. Now move them to the background by following the outer guidelines. The further you want the projection to go, the further apart these two layers will be. Let's start making the different walls now. As an example, I'm drawing fast what you'll have to do. Basically, you'll have to follow the direction of your guideline with the shape of your letters. You'll see how easy it actually is once you've done one. So let's step back and let's make it properly now. Here I've changed the color of the small word and separated each letter from the main word. Now I'm creating a new layer under each letter, choosing a different color and start making the walls. The first walls will be the ones on top and this will cover most of the rest of them. You can keep painting the 3D in the same layer as long as the different parts don't touch each other. Now create a new layer under this one to draw the last wall. We're making a new layer just because we don't want any part to touch with another. For the time being we picked another color so we see what we're doing. Alright, we're done with this part, now repeat it on the other letters and see you in a while. Let's organize now the incredible mess we have in here. Slide the pencil on each letter and its effects and tap on group. Now change the name of each group so we find things easily later on. We'll now get some letter outlines done. Here I'm using a technique I learned from my friend Max from Lettering Daily. You can also check his channel for incredibly helpful lettering tutorials. There's literally a thousand ways of doing this next step. Let me know in the comments below if you're interested in knowing them so I cover them in future tutorials. Go to one of the letters and duplicate it. Now, head to Adjustments and tap on Gaussian Blur. Once you're there, select about 0.5 blur by moving your pencil left and right. Now, head to the Selection tool, select Automatic from the bottom menu and tap inside your blurred letter. Again, move right and left until you're satisfied with your selection. Head back to your Layers panel and create a new layer. Now drag a color inside the selection and you'll see how you've just created the inner part of the letter. The original letter will act as a letter outline for now. Now get the eraser and get rid of those circle corners or little parts you don't like.
Here I'm changing the color of the original letter into white because this will act as a letter outline and it should be brighter than the inner part. Now we will create some inner walls by duplicating our inner part, scaling it down a little bit and moving it into the same direction of our 3D. Drag a different color to see the difference and move it around. The further you move it, the more dimension your letters will have. Go to the Layers panel and tap on the newest layer. You will see a menu pops on the left. Tap on Select. Now, tap on Invert in the menu on the bottom on the screen. Select the inner parts layer, scroll three fingers down the screen and tap on Duplicate. You'll see a new layer appear. Get rid of the previous layer now and drop a dark color on the new one. Your inner walls are done. Before starting adding patterns, we'll make sure all the 3D walls are the same color. Now you can go to the brush library and select the pattern. You can choose the ones included in the freebie or if you decide to get the whole pack, you'll find a total of 110 hand-drawn patterns and 115 geometric patterns. Create a new layer on top of the main 3D wall and tap on the selection tool. Choose the option rectangle and make a selection as big as the wall you'll add the pattern on. Now select the pattern you've chosen and spray it inside the selection. Now tap on the transform tool and rotate your pattern around so it fits the 3D wall. Sorry, but I messed up a little here. The pattern should be on top of the wall and instead I put it behind. I'll move it later, but you can do it now already. Tap on distort and adapt the corners to the wall shape. Now select warp and perfect the shape so it adapts perfectly. You can try the option advanced mesh to have a better control of it. Now your pattern fits the shape. Tap on the layer and click on clipping mask so we make sure nothing gets out of the shape. Repeat the same steps for the other walls now. Now it's time to add some shadows. Create a new clipping mask in between the patterns and their walls. Now select a sprayer. I'm here using a brush from our set, the ultimate background set, but you can also use Procreate's native soft brush under the airbrushing panel. Spray on the sides and let the middle of the wall untouched. This will give you depth and will leave the piece ready to add some lights. Here I always switch between modes to see what looks better. In this case I ended up using Multiply which is the easiest to use for shadows and will blend your colors perfectly. Alright, well, repeat the shadows on the other walls. Create new clipping masks on top of your shadows. Set them to overlay and spray some lights with a lighter color using the same brush you used before. I'm using a thin light to differentiate one shadow from the other and then I'm spraying the parts where I didn't include shadows before. We are done with the steps you need. Now create clipping masks on top of each layer you want to add a pattern on, spray some more different patterns and play around with modes.
Now add some lights and some shadows on the inner walls. and add some drop shadow in the inner walls. How? Well, duplicate them and drop a dark color on the layer below. Set the layer to multiply and move it following the 3D direction. Make sure it is a clipping mask and now add a Gaussian blur like we did previously. Here I'm playing around with modes and in the end I chose overlay. Also I set the opacity a little bit down. Now I'm making a new layer on top of everything else and selecting a calligraphy native brush. I'm going to paint some highlights to give the last touches to the ladder. Oh, by the way, I also changed the background color so I see the highlights better, but there's no need to if you want to leave it as it is. The final touch will be adding a drop shadow on the ladder. Compress all the groups by tapping on the little arrow in each group. Now deactivate all the layers but the ladder you're playing with. Include the background. And head to Actions, Copy Canvas. Now scroll three fingers down on your canvas and tap on Paste. You'll see the whole ladder was pasted in one single layer. Now go to Adjustments, Hue, Saturation, Brightness and once inside bring the brightness down to zero. Head back to your Layers panel Bring that layer down the original letter, activate the rest of the layers and with the transform tool distort the shadow so it follows the direction of your perspective. You can now add a Gaussian blur and bring the opacity down for more realism. And we are done. I wanted to thank you all once again for all your support and hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and considering subscribing to our channel for more content like this every single month. I have a quick question for you. What's your favorite letter to draw? Let me know in the comments. Bye and thank you. Remember that by joining our newsletter community, you will get access to all of our freebies, including free Procreate brushes, textures and fonts, and other fresh stuff we cook up every month. Remember that you'll find the link in the description below. And with that said, let, let her away! away.